from the department of can't leave well enough alone i'm actually going to cut the prop's neck and shorten it because like i said can't leave well enough alone because i can't ever think of a reason not to use a power tool i'm going to be using my cutoff saw to cut the head off Just a <clears throat> fun thing to do to get through the, the main part of that. I want to take this off and reduce the size. Thumbs up for using a diamond blade. Cut through paper. That's so much more proportional. So much better. But from the side profile, the chin is a much more natural uh, distance from the chest. Unfortunately, in the excitement of uh, decapitating them, we lost some uh, fingers. So they'll have to be uh, reattached. But otherwise, we're ready to go with cutting his ass down and then doing the paper mache. For this task, I'm gonna use a much more mundane drywall knife. Say I'm giving him a liposuction. Because of the angle of the upper body, it looks a lot more out of proportion, but in reality, it's far more proportionally shaped. So let's get to macheing. When I went to the store today to buy the uh, shop towels, they had the regular blue ones. But then I saw that they had these white ones there that were listed as cleanup towels. It looked like the exact same material, except that it was white and the perforations are actually a little bit narrower. <laughs> Okay, the mache is done on the hips. One thing I do like about the mache using the towels, the shop towels, is that it gives a, see it like right in here, the striations that it creates when you uh, put it on, particularly when you use very wet towels, you can get a lot more uh, detail like that. And I think it gives a very musculature, a raw muscle look. So I'm going to let this dry up now, and I'm going to work on macheing the neck. It looks like I'm going to have one more day of doing macheing, and that's because in my infinite wisdom, when I macheed the ass, I laid it on its arm. So this is still too wet to sit up so that I can get to the arm. He's basically done, and I'm already liking the proportion better on the neck. So it looks like we got another day of uh, macheing to go. Just the arm, so it should be quick. And then we can move on to uh, painting the prop and getting it uh, completed. Regarding those shop towels, though, the blue ones are definitely stronger than the white ones. The white ones were tearing when I was uh, applying the paint on them. But they do, have a, they do serve a good purpose in that they give you a lot more detail. You get wrinkles, folds, uh, things like that. So... If you want to build the support structure of mache, use the blue towels. When you want to go for the detail, use the white ones. I put them somewhere between regular paper towels and the blue shop towels. So, if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let's connect in the comments section below. It was directly because of a comment I received from Caleb Stern that I ended up cutting the neck on the parishioner prop today. Looking at the prop then, I was like, you know what?
he's right. It's too long. Let's get this thing done right. So again, comment down below. It is really helpful. Thanks for watching. So we've got a <clears throat> and last and I think the weight actually is causing the head to lean over a bit.